up? My name is Lindsay and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Sorry, it's so sunny. Um, but anyway, today we're making this really easy two-piece cardigan set and I'm so excited to show you guys. It's going to be nice and quick and easy. You guys can definitely do it. All right, well, without further ado, let's just get on into it because it's quite sunny and I'm sure you guys want to know how to make this. So let's go. All right guys, so this is what the cardigan looked like before. It's nothing too special. Um, I really do like the little embroidered flowers on it though. I think they're super cute, but obviously the length of this just wasn't cute. It doesn't hit right. So we're gonna thrift flip it and make it cute. All right, so lay your cardigan out flat. I counted down four buttons because I knew that I wanted to cut it just above a button to give a little bit of space after the last button if that makes sense so basically I'm keeping three buttons and I'm going to crop it right above the fourth button so just take a ruler line it up to where you want it to end try to make it straight and trace your line afterwards just take some scissors and crop it there take the bottom piece away and you're actually done with the top piece the cardigan part is done now moving on to the bottom piece, we're going to turn it around because we're going to use the back side, not the front side where the buttons are, and I'm actually going to cut it along the side seam. I probably should have cut it a bit larger for my body so that there wasn't as much space in the back, however I cut it on the seam because that way it would be finished and I wouldn't have to worry about fraying. So get rid of that front piece and now you just have the back piece or maybe the back and a little bit of the side pieces. And as you can see, the hem is nice and finished so it is just a better piece of material to work with. Cut off any tags that might be there. And now flip it around to make sure that the hem of the bottom of the cardigan is now the top of this little crop top. So what I did basically is just fold it in once a decent thickness, maybe a centimeter or so, and then fold it again. And then we're going to sew along the inside fold so that there's enough room for the string to go through the little tube. So put your pins in and then go sew it. And as you can see, now there's enough room for a string to go through. It also looks nice and finished on the outside part. You just see the little hem and that's it. So now take your cord. I would suggest using cord or elastic cord, something like that, and grab a safety pin and put it on the end of it. It'll just make it so much easier to thread the cord through. Now make sure your hem is still on the top of the top and you're going to take the safety pin and put it from the bottom to the top through that little tube. Then you're going to bring it across the top and go from the top to the bottom. Now you have this sort of loop all the way around the top to help you keep it in place and tie it. So pull the string through to where you want it and then as you can see when you put it on you'll just cinch it to your body and tie a knot. So obviously this looks super tiny and I should have made it a bit bigger but it is a really stretchy material so I think that it is still totally fine. So last thing to do to finish it off is you're going to cut the ends of the cord one more time to make sure they're clean and as little frayed as possible. And then take a lighter, now be really careful, but you're just going to take a lighter and then you're just going to burn it until there's a flame and as soon as there's a flame you can just blow it out. Basically this just kind of melts the end so that there's no fraying on your cord and it looks much more finished. I also used the end of another cord just to like tap down the little melted part to make sure it was flat. Then just do the same thing to your other string and you are done! So as you can see, super finished ends, nice and hard, they won't be fraying and you have yourself your little top.
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, then definitely let me know um, in the comments, and also let me know if you make it. I would love to see it. You can DM me on Instagram, and you can also follow me on Instagram to see how I style stuff and everything like that. But anyway, it is just so sunny, so I'm gonna let you guys go here. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you later.